me trying to film a cute morning montage just for my battery to die. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Single here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super super duper well and today guys, it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And happy stream day. Today's Twitch stream is very exciting because Jack and I implemented all of the finishing touches on the art last night and I can't wait for you guys to see it if you haven't seen it already. By now, if you watch us over on Twitch, you will have already seen it. But later we have to get ready for that, but not too much later. It's already 12.34 and I want, well it's kind of later, like two and a half half hours, but those two and a half hours go by real quick. Gosh, it's like literally sweltering in the car too. It is only 45 degrees here in Portland, Maine today, but with the sunshine, it feels like it's like mid fifties right now. It feels so nice outside. My mom told me once actually that based on the geographical location of Maine, we get sunshine or like UV index or sun just as powerful and also as frequent as city in Italy that I can't remember. It's literally the city that Jack and I flew into on our honeymoon. The first city, let's see, Italian cities. Florence. We get the same like sun patterns, I guess, as Florence. And I can totally see that. It's so sunny. But anyway, guys, I posted a vlog yesterday and I mentioned that I ended up filming a lot more than needed for the vlog. It was going to be like way too long. So I decided to save some of those clips for today's vlog. And I wanted to show you some of the new bedding that Jack and I got. I've been wanting new bedding for a little bit now because we've had this one pair of sheets for like over a year or so and you know when no matter how often or how much you've washed the sheets and taken care of the sheets it's just their time to go I feel like we were at our point with that sheets no matter how much we wash them or what we wash them with they just weren't crispy you know they're they're past their crisp point of being nice fresh crispy sheets I feel like with sheets that is the only time I can use the word crispy and not be disgusting grossed out but now that I think about it it's actually kind of gross to use that word so please ignore that normally I go to home goods and sheets there for like a great price like Ralph Lauren sheets or Kate Spade they're like $40 maybe for a sheet set and I'm a very very obsessed with that price point as far as sheets go but I didn't see any colors I wanted I wanted to stray from white I always go white sheets I think they look the absolute best like neutral wise and stuff with the bedding I wanted to stray from that and so I didn't find any any of the colors like muted greens or like a burnty orange that I was looking for there so we ended up going to Target and we ended up spending a pretty penny on sheets but I have no regrets so I'm going to roll the clip of our new bedding and also Jack and I as a married couple trying to tackle a duvet cover yet again <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep the audio in there. Just know that my personality gets very stressed out. I don't know why. I don't know. It's irrational. I just get irrationally stressed out with things like putting on a duvet cover. Things that literally don't matter in this world. I tend to just like pop off a little bit. So um, God bless Jack's soul. I'm just gonna roll those clips here. Hello friends. The lighting is so horrendous today. It is so stormy outside. I don't know if you can see that, but it is raining cats and dogs sideways so 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 gloomy outside right now but we are in target and i've had my eye on this line of sheets for so long and they're definitely on the bougie side jack had to give me literally a pep talk in target about treating ourselves to nice sheets because they last us literally like so long and we went with the linen ones and they feel so nice and we got this like burnt orange color. I'm gonna try to get a clip of what they look like and what the color looks like when it's like not dreary and like yellow in the room. I think it'll look so nice against like our white pillows and like the white comforter that we have. We haven't put the duvet back on but with that duvet color that with this is. it'll be like so nice. Hi baby. Help us out with redoing our bed. Let me set you guys up. Oh, the vlog's helping us? Yeah, they're helping. Thanks for giving us a hand, guys. Yeah, you guys are so thoughtful yes. and like so nice. My hands are so wet. Yeah, it's soaked. Like, Jack deserves like all the back scratches today because... Is this thing recording? Yeah. Did you actually capture that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, because I'm calling in a favor. He, he helped with all of like bringing in the groceries and everything and it was pouring sideways outside and I forgot my rain jacket so he was able to do that for us. Shall we my darling? We shall. <laughs> Baby. Baby. <laughs> Stop. 
Yes. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, chill, bro, chill. Why are you keeping them? <laughs> Consensus is we wash these and keep them. I think so, okay. yeah. Let's just bleach them. Get them really clean. I don't know how to bleach. I do. I got it. How do you know, like, the amount of bleach? We or... follow the instructions. We're doing the undersheet as well. That's like an entire sheet shut. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, cool. I think it is. It better be for the price that it costs. It. Imagine it's just the sheet. It's literally a fitted sheet. And like, that's it. Wait a second. Two standard pillowcases. I can return one of these. Nice. Oh, nice. What's yeah. The color? I was like, wait, sheet sets normally, it just I just thought about what they come with. I'm excited. The linen's going to be nice. Yeah, I think so too. Ooh, it's so cute. Yeah, good color. Sweet thing. I like that. I like the color. This says top or bottom. No way. Yeah, that makes things easy. So let's make it bottom. Wow. Oh Ooh. man, this is gonna be really nice. <laughs> it's nice. That's a great color. Yeah, I love the color. Right, I'll let you adjust this. Okay. Pull up the the YouTube video. I'm gonna do the pillowcases first. Okay. Wow, Bob, your bed looks great. Everything looks really good. Yeah. The green, the baskets, the black iron. Yeah. It actually makes our bed frame look even better. If I didn't go with you today, you would not have gotten these sheets. No, it's true. Which pillowcase should we sleep on? Or which one should be like the back one and the front one? I'm thinking. Uh, ivory should be the back one. Okay. I like the pop of, I like the color. Because like our duvet cover is yeah, that's true. this tan or whatever. Actually, let's do the duvet first. We'll need to pull that video up. I'll get the video. It looks so good. You like? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. How to do a cover. Can you get a duvet into a duvet cover without killing yourself? I think that's turned inside out. Alright, so wait, pause it. So let's get inside the duvet out, cover inside out. And then the open side away from us. So the out, so we have to like reverse it. Like open end this way. Comforter up on top. Okay. Right. Now I think we roll it like a little burrito. Duvet sausage. No, no, no. It's from up here. Down. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Because the buttons are open on the other side. On the inside. No, babe, why the are you paying are, attention? I am, the buttons are the last no. thing to get rolled up. Oh, I see what you're saying, we reversed it. Yes. Yeah, away. Okay. okay, we just reversed it, then they were doing it. Because the last time you and I went this way. Yeah, That's why we're following I was, the video. That's why I was confused. Okay, I'm, I'm watching. Okay, you but now my, brain, now my brain is backwards. Okay, so fold it. Making this? Duvet sausage, yep. yep. Duvet sausage. Yeah, one more time. One more time? Oh no. Okay, so we have our duvet sausage. Okay, duvet sausage. Do you see what happens? This. this is stressful. This is the tough bit. The opening. Here's the open duvet. Yeah. Open the duvet. Open the duvet. Here. Okay, okay corner to corner. Now hold this. And we're just going to tuck oh, this. Hold the whole thing. We're going to tuck it inside out. So we Roll want... it and I just want to flip it over to see like the this. whole thing. Yeah. Okay, so here is our open thing. Yeah. Right? This is the side you ripped last time. I, I apologize. It's okay. So this is how, this is, we gotta tuck it in. Okay, you do yours first. Okay. And now. You gotta do yours. Help me. So. Do they sausage? Do they sausage? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and now, now. Let's watch the video. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So we roll it over. So oh, careful. Oh, yes. Oh no, baby, we didn't do it very coordinated, like. We're okay. It's terrible, Bob, it's so bad. All right, take your corner. Wait, take it. I found it, I okay. found the corner. Yeah, do, can it. you line your yep. big corner up there? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. I can't, you're not letting me. I cornered it to the corner. Okay. And I can feel it against the end of okay. it. So it's, it's on. It's on? Okay. Okay, so now let's button this up. So we're going to do your left over your right. It's my right over my left. I don't know what you just said. Too. Take your left arm. Left arm. And put it over your right arm. Reverse. Okay. Okay. Wow, that looks really good. That looks amazing. so nice. You have a lovely bed. It's so beautiful. All right, my friends, take a look at our new bed. I think it looks so inviting. The colors are just so pretty. I'm gonna insert some footage of what it looks like tomorrow as well, like in the natural light and how that looks, because I think it looks a lot better in the real light. But 
super super awesome i love that so much but anyway welcome to tuesday today before the stream i wanted to get a couple errands done and so i have the other set of pillowcases i forget if i mentioned it in yesterday's vlog that we didn't end up using because i forgot that a whole sheet set comes with two pillowcases already so we just needed two more instead of four more so i have two to return so i want to return those but first i actually want to go to this adorable used bookstore that I found online yesterday. I've never been before, so it could be a total bust. But I had this used bookstore back in Seattle. It was called Twice Told Tales, and it was like cat themed, and they had cats roaming around the bookstore, and they were just like, everywhere you looked and every nook and cranny you went in this bookstore was just filled with books. There was some organization to it, but it really was like a hunt. It was like a hunt for books, and it was just like the most magical, mystical, tiny little used bookstore. And I spent a lot of time there. I actually have a very special place for that bookstore in my heart because when I took the leap and quit my full-time job because it was absolutely miserable and I wanted to make a change in my life the first place I went to was that bookstore because I wanted to figure out how to make some sort of like part-time or anything type of income on the side and for my Q kids interview tryout type of rounds you had to record yourself reading a children's book and they were looking for like being animated and friendly and things like that so I took a walk down to my favorite bookstore, Twice Told Tales, and I picked up Boom Chicka Boom. Boom Chicka Boom. Yeah, I think it was called Boom Chicka Boom. Pretty sure. And it was all about these like alphabet letters climbing up to the top of a coconut tree and then they all get up there and then the coconut like tree falls down or the coconuts fall down or they all come tumbling down. Something like that it was super cute. But yeah, I have a special place in my heart for that and I haven't found a bookstore here kind of like it. I wasn't really searching for one, but when Jack and I were re-watching Twilight like really made me want to reread Twilight but when I looked at my collection I only have New Moon Eclipse and Breaking Dawn I don't have the first one and knowing me I probably lent out the first one to someone who I wanted to also get into the series as well and I did that with my first Harry Potter book actually and oh my gosh I ended up repurchasing the first Harry Potter book because I had lent it out to someone to get them hooked on the series and I ended up buying the first Harry Potter book to re-complete my collection at Twice Told Tales and Seattle. So this is just like a full, full circle moment called Yes Books. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna have to park on the city roads and I'm not very good at that, but let's try it. I'm excited. I want to go to this bookstore so bad. Let's go. That man is taking pictures of my house. I think it's just the flowers. It better be just the flowers. What the frick? What would you all do in this situation? Would you ask him, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? It looked like it was just the flowers, but now my mind is going to other places and I don't like it. I should have asked him, sir, can I help you? And now he's just like walking across the lawn. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. You guys are gonna think I'm absolutely actually psycho, but I ended up following the man. <laughs> because I saw him go down to a sidewalk and then turn into like a plaza on foot and I followed him and got a full body description I know the exact shoe that he was wearing and the jacket was a white turquoise color block and the logo was a rectangle and split down the like diagonal with red on top and white on bottom that was the jacket logo he had brown shoes on didn't have any logo and but they did have like velcro on top of them they were like a sweat type of brown and they had velcro on top of them. I'm saying this so that I have it recorded because I've watched too many true crime horror story mystery things. So follow your gut folks. Just, just do that double check why don't you? <laughs> you ain't messing with me. Here it is my friends. It looks so freaking cute. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Dream. 
just about to park and I, I did park. I was getting out to do the meter thingy and a bird shit on me. Literally felt something slap my shoulder and the bird legitimately shit on me. So now I'm contemplating wiping myself off or going home. Like, is this salvageable? I'm truly disgusted. Is it in my hair? We're unsure. Like, is this a sign that I should not do this right now? You know, I think it got me pretty good too. It like really went for it. Like it, it really did. Like it, yeah. I was gonna wear this for stream too, but now we're gonna have to, yeah, no, it's like on there. What the frick do birds eat? Why is that so plastered? That's really gross. I'm gonna go now and then, <laughs> oh gosh darn it, I'm so sad. Hello friends, we are back. We are in the office and I am just setting up my stream. I did in fact change. I actually ended up convincing myself that it wasn't that bad and it shouldn't dictate whether I go home or finish my errands or not. So I ended up paying for parking and then once I got that situation handled and made sure that there were no birds above me, I walked over to the second bookstore that I wanted to check to see if they had Twilight, like in a used book, and they didn't do in-store shopping. We're still only order only slash pickup only slash online shopping. So I paid for parking for literally nothing. I got back in the car and I did indeed go to Target and now I'm just kind of rushing around, but I'm five minutes early to the stream. This is going to be the first stream with the new art and I'm very, very excited. I'm actually a little like nervous that you guys won't like it or I don't know. I love it so much, but there are only a few screens that are like full screens and I have her doing one more screen for when I'm just chatting anyway. I fear that you guys aren't gonna be like overwhelmed with it and I kind of really love it. So I hope you really like it. That'd be great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop it on screen here because you guys would have already seen it if you do watch the live streams. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It went with obviously a berry slash berry picking field theme for the stream. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, it's still cute. The artist did such an incredible job. We're gonna start streaming. Oh my gosh. It's starting. It takes a few minutes for the alert to go out that the stream is starting. Oh shoot, I forgot to clear the chat. Oh, we, oh my gosh, my new my new badges are here too. That's exciting. It looks so good, I just saw them on stream. While the stream is still, still getting booted up, I was just saying to Jack, I just realized how weird of a freaking day I've had so far. And the thing is, if I harped on all these things, obviously they like all add up to being such a crap day, but it, it, the day's still good. The day still has hope. But it was only until the bird pooped on my shoulder that I was like, wow, it's getting, in the, it's really weird today. Things are <laughs> super strange today. I woke up, I wanted to film a morning montage and like my workout, my breakfast, all this stuff, but my battery was dead. And I was like, okay, inconvenient, but that's my bad. And then the guy outside of the apartment complex taking photos, that was super weird. And wanting to follow him and get his like full profile, that was me being probably creepy, but you know, you never know. And then to not having the Twilight book at the first bookstore, but the first bookstore was super cute. So I didn't think anything of it. Like it wasn't like an inconvenience or anything. Oh my gosh, everyone's loving it. <laughs> Literally everyone is coming in and they love it so much. Hi. Oh my gosh, they can't hear me right now, but um, oh my gosh, there's Mucho Epic Wonder Bashley. They said the art and everything is beautiful. Ashley says, oh shiz, I love it. Shy Artist says, hello. Mucho says, hello. Oh my gosh, everyone is like really loving it right now. Kendra Rose says, oh pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Great. Everyone's um, sub badges are so adorable too. Big Wonder has like the flower badge next to her name right now. Caleb and Jessette came in. They said, oh my God, so cute. And they have like a mature sapling next to their name. Oh my God, I need to get my normal badges on, Ashley says, so she can get it. So anyway, then I get out of the car. The bird poops on me and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. And I proceed to pay for parking only for that to literally have been for nothing because the store that I wanted to go to in that area was not open. So I drive away and then when I get into the target line, there was a man and he was like trying to not like cut the line really. But kind of cut the line. He was like, I just have to pick up this one thing. And like everyone's like, yeah, 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 sure. But then he ended up taking up like all of the people at the customer services time and like saying how he doesn't understand why they need so much personal information, like an email and like all of a sudden they had to explain that, but he was like taking up both people's time. So I couldn't go return my thing. It was a whole thing. What's so funny is I don't feel like my day is ruined, which is great. We love, we love that positivity. We love keeping the vibes going. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, hello loves. Here we go, here we go. 
I'm going to bring this down. So I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna scoot you guys in. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the stream! Oh my Lanta. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Hello. So on yesterday's stream, we hit 3,000 followers on Twitch, which is a very large number and it happened rather way, way quicker than I thought it ever would. And I was telling them on stream about the bird pooping on my shoulder and how I was like, what on earth did I do to deserve this? And then somebody actually said that people say it's good luck if a bird poops on your shoulder. So we Googled it on the stream and the first result that like came up or whatever was saying that the chances of a bird pooping on your shoulder are even less like it's even more rare than winning the lottery. So people say that it's actually pretty good luck. It didn't feel like good luck, I can tell you that. But the source then said this would be a good day to play the lottery, if there was any day to play the lottery. So when I showed that, somebody donated $5 and said, go get yourself a lottery ticket. And then a few minutes later, someone else donated another $5 and said, go get yourself another lottery ticket. So my friends, I have never in my life played the lottery before. Like, like I've never, I've been in rooms where people have scratched tickets, but I have absolutely no idea how it works. But I remember seeing them at like gas stations and stuff. I literally had to Google where to get lottery tickets. So I went to one of our local gas stations and the man was so nice. I was like, I'm here to buy lottery tickets. He goes, okay. And he, there was like just this huge display case. I said, do I just pick one? He goes, yeah. So it explained the whole thing about like they each cost a different amount and stuff. And I was like, okay, I want to do like two $5 tickets. And he was like, so the $5 ones will range from like this number to this number. It ranged from like 18 to like 25 or something. And my and Jack's lucky number is 21. So I decided to get two 21s. So here we are. Um, I don't know the instructions, but it looks like this. And I thought we could scratch it off together. Here are the, um, what are they called? Winning numbers. Here are the winning numbers and here are my numbers or whatever. And so the instructions say match any of your numbers to any of the winning numbers. So we scratch off like all of them. We look for matches between them. I feel like this is gonna make a lot more sense when we just start scratching off things. So come on over. Bub, we're, we're playing the lottery. Oh, look, Hippo's very proud right now. Is she proud? Oh, look at her stand. She's so proud. She's so confident. Come here. Oh baby. Feel like the best angle. I'm trying to get you guys at a good angle. So the winning numbers for this first ticket, my friends, are 18, 15, both of my cats are on the table now, 22, and 20. Those are our winning numbers. So now we're going to scratch off. Okay, so how does this work? Hi, Hippo. Hippo thinks I'm talking to her right now. So I guess if I had unscratched a 12, then I would have won $100,000, but I did not unscratch a 12. So we're gonna keep going. Ooh, 16. I feel like they do like numbers so close to what you have, like to get you all excited. 11, six, wow. So- or do you... Yeah, that's what it says. I, I don't know how to do it. Me neither, so that's what I, that's all I read. 13. Oh, so you can win like literally anything from like 100,000 to like 10 bucks. <laughs> so my winning, my numbers are 18, 15, 22, and 20. That's what I'm looking for. So none of the numbers up here matched any of the numbers down here. So this one is a bust. Our winning numbers for card number two are two. Oh, I can feel it. Are you, Jack, so this is the one. Two, one, 21, which is a lucky number of ours. Can I match these numbers with this card over here? Because if I could, I would have won five, no, five dollars, just five dollars, as well as, Ten dollars so far. So that's what I would have won. I, I wanted. I want to cash in both of these at the same time. We have two, one, twenty-one, and twenty as our numbers that we're looking for. First scratch. Seven. Eight. 
and 19. Gosh darn it. Thank you guys anyway so much for gifting money for a lottery ticket or two lottery tickets. That was actually a really fun experience. I can totally see how that could get addicting. That's fun. We should buy some more. Jack's like, we should buy some more. Anyway guys, the rest of my day looks like uh, some lunch prep as well as editing this vlog to get it up for you guys. So happy Wednesday, my friends. If you are new and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below because we upload videos here every single Monday, Wednesday, and I think it's now Sunday. Everybody, do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye.